Hello, 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 and welcome to Task 23. I believe you are enjoying writing your SLR paper in a step-by-step -step manner with all these videos. So tell me, how many of you have written 500 or more words? If you have done so, please leave a comment below. I want to know how fast you are progressing with your paper. Okay, today we are going to work on the next subsection of your introduction, and that is the research goals. You may think, do I really need all these different sections in my introduction, like significance, rationale, motivation, and now research goal? Is this too much in the introduction? If you're getting that feeling, then it's quite normal. Don't worry at all. At first, you may be a bit overwhelmed, but the more SLR papers you read, you can start identifying the differences and learn how to write each subsection properly. The reason why we have these sections is because it serves a purpose and gives you a focused direction to write something to the point. For example, in today's video, we are going to focus on research goals. So what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of writing this section? I think you may be thinking about how can I succinctly write my research goal? That's it. That's what you have to do in this section. But why is this subsection so important? See, research goal is like the ultimate objective. What is it that you want to achieve by doing this research? Having a clear goal is important because without one, you can stray away and undertake research that is of limited use or the results that you get are not really relevant. If you have a clear picture of your research goal, then it will help you focus your efforts to produce a satisfactory outcome. It also gives the reader and the reviewer a clear understanding of your research. So this is your opportunity. If you're new here, do check out the task of the day series and learn how to write a systematic literature review paper in a step-by-step -step manner under my guidance. It's completely free. Check the playlist on the top. All right, in today's task, I want you to study the research goal subsection from the five SLR papers in your collection. You need to do two things, right? First, read all the five SLR papers like we have been doing in previous tasks and study their research goal section. If you find that, copy that and put that in the Word document and read it carefully sentence by sentence and study how they have written this section. Some papers may not have a dedicated section on the research goals and it may only be written as a paragraph in the introduction section. So you may need to find where that is and then uh, then study that. So this is the first part of your task. Now the second part, I want you to write three or four sentences to describe your research goal for your SLR paper. Make your goals crystal clear so that you can also follow them. Keep it to say 50 to 75 words long. Don't make it too long. Be to the point. Remember, after finishing this, you will be one more step closer to finishing your SLR papers introduction section. So keep the motivation going and start the timer right now to finish this task today. This task should take you say 50 to 60 minutes or less. My suggestion would be if you find a sentence from these five SLR papers that you really like, you should immediately write an equivalent section for your SLR paper. This way you will finish your task on time and will be more productive. Next, I will discuss the answer to this task. But before that, if you like this video series, then please share this with other PhDs who may be struggling with writing a good quality research paper. And also hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right now. If you check the description of this video, you will find a link to a timer. When you're ready to start this task, click on that link and follow the timer to finish your task. All the best. Let's start this task in five, four, three, two, one. Now let me share the answer to this task. Have a look here. I'm showing you one of the examples of one of my SLR papers. Here you can see I have around 50 to 75 words for this subsection. I have two examples here to show you. Now let's see what I have written here. Let's break it down sentence by sentence. And I have tagged each sentence to show you what that sentence is about. Let's start with the first example, which has three sentences. The first sentence is, this research aims to analyze the existing studies, standards, 
tools and techniques in realizing interoperable EHR management in the three areas of focus that is semantic interoperability, privacy preserving techniques for EHR storage and non-mediated EHR sharing. So what does this sentence say? This sentence explains the research aims and goals very clearly. All right, let's look at the next sentence. The next sentence says the research questions are listed in table one to carry out the study of EHR management and application of blockchain technology of the same. This sentence tells the readers that the research questions for this SLR paper are documented in table one. The next sentence is the scope of our work is described with a structure diagram as shown in figure four. So this sentence tells the reader to refer to figure four for understanding the structure and the layout of this paper. Okay, so that was the example one. Let's look at my other paper. Here the sentence starts with the aim of this research is to examine and analyze studies and their findings in order to show the current status of research on smart grids and their integration with blockchain technology and IoT. So what is this sentence doing? So this sentence is explaining the research aims or the research goals for this SLR paper. Let's look at the next sentence. To make our work more focused, we developed five research questions as shown in table one. So here again, this sentence is telling the reader that the research questions are outlined in table one and they can refer to those research questions there. So if you want to analyze my writing, you will notice that I have three sentences. The first sentence states the research goal or the research aim. The second sentence directs the reader to the research questions. And the third sentence refers the reader to view the figure that shows the structure and the layout of the rest of the paper. So try to keep this subsection simple and to the point. Even if you follow my style of writing and have only these three sentences, then even that is sufficient. Okay. So I hope this video was useful for you and you have learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with others. Thank you very much. After you complete this task, I have two video suggestions for you. If you want to check the next task, click the left video. Otherwise, click the right video to see YouTube's recommendations. All right. That's it. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day. Bye.